right, so, uh, I wanted to tell you about this because this is a continual problem. Okay, you know, um, I kind of laugh at people that get their porch pirates because the United States Post Office, if you go down to get a P.O. box, they will tell you right off the top. Now, you use this address and it will deliver to your P.O. box. I'll give you a full street address, okay? And they say, so if you have any packages, we will gladly accept them. No problem. So you get two services in one, basically. Um, I, I travel so much. I have P.O. boxes in several different states. And so whenever I'm at one place and I'm waiting on orders that I need um, for work and that, that, I just have them shipped to my local P.O. box. And um, that way I don't have to worry about it being stolen or anything like that. But some post offices are kind of problematic or handicapped. I don't know. Um, and Dustin is one of them. So I have I have this problem. Whenever I get a package that says it's delivered, it takes Dustin Post Office anywhere from a week to four weeks to figure out where my package is in that post office and give me notice in my P.O. box. Now, Dustin Post Office has a thing where they give you a key in your P.O. box if it's bigger than your post office box. They, they put a key in there that says you have a package and you go and unlock whatever size box it is on this wall that the thing fits in. Um, and the key stays locked in the lock when you take the package out. So it shows you got your package. And so and that's if something you don't have to sign for, you know, or something. Uh, but anyway, so that's a real neat convenience. Um, but it is post office, this particular one in Destin, Florida, it takes them forever to get your package to you. You will get all these notices. It's been delivered. It's been delivered. You can pick it up. It's there. We delivered. And you'll call them, you go down there, and you won't find it. And um, so, I get this message this morning that's real confusing um, from a package I ordered on Amazon, which is pretty big. It's like five pounds. And um, uh, it's a food product. And uh, so, it says some goofy thing. It was delivered by UPS to the USPS, which is the post office. Um, and I delivered at 9.15 this morning. But it says there's a problem or something. And that they're holding it. And I'm like, huh? So I called, I called UPS. I didn't know the shipper was supposed to be UPS. But I called UPS and they said, oh yeah, we delivered at 9.15. There's no problem. They've got it and they're holding it until you get there. Great. So I drive down there and stuff because I was way somewhere else. But I really needed that package. So I take the time to waste my gas and all the time to drive over there and run there, you know, on daytime while they're open. And so, what do you do? I go in there and it's like a 45-minute ordeal. They cannot find this package, they say, on their paperwork, their computer, whatever. It shows that they actually signed for the package and accepted it, but they don't have a clue where it is. And then it has some scan on it, the package, that says it's out for delivery. Well, it can't be out for delivery if the delivery address is the United States Post Office to my PO box. There's no delivery. So, apparently, what they have done is, and they still haven't found it, it's hours later, it's 4 o'clock now. Um, they still have not found my package. Um, I, what I'm thinking is that it's out on one of their delivery trucks somebody delivering mail to people's houses and businesses and um, they scanned it and then realized that it's not going anywhere but right back to the post office so they'll bring it back when they're done in other states most of the hand delivered mail is done about 2 or 3 in the afternoon it's all finished um, I don't know what Dustin is God, they might deliver till late at night I've seen them out late at night during the holidays and that but um, I don't know it's not holiday right now but uh, it's winter time. I mean, it ought to be interesting. But four o'clock, and they still haven't found my package. They apparently put it at um, one of the trucks to deliver mail. It's running all over town, I guess. 
because they had three people searching the entire post office building to find out where my package is. This is a five pound package, so it's not like an envelope. And I still don't have it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I hope you don't have the same problem, but if you have porch pirate problem, do get a P.O. box and solve your problems. That way you're not tied down. If you are traveling or need to travel, you can do it in a heartbeat, no problem, because your things are gonna be safe in a building and not on the porch of your house. So I have different residences around the states and I would never have anything delivered to my front porch. It's not happening. I don't even use mailboxes because if it's raining or cold, I'm not going out there to get it anyway. Um, I just say it's all one spot. Don't have to worry about it. And I'll get there when I get there to get it. All right. Talk to you later. Have a great one. Love to you. And as always, make a new friend every day. Do something kind for a stranger and too much of a good thing is wonderful. And let's have lots of that. Alright? Have a great one. Love to you.